Good morning and welcome to Curacao. I know. Are we here yet? I think we are. But we're not moving. Okay. Our we're call, just looking at water. <laughs> yeah. Our port call time, I think, is from 7 to 3. It's about 7 now, so. Really short day. Hopefully we're here. We've decided, since it's a little short day, we're just going to do hanging out at beach stuff. Yes. We love hanging out at beach stuff. My brain's not awake for words yet today. <laughs> Say something. But we're going to roll over to Sunscape Curacao. Yeah, it's a resort I've wanted to check out ever since we went to Sunscape in Aquamal. True. And the great thing about it is they offer a day pass, which is available mm. for cruise passengers. The general manager wrote me back and said it's about $89 for adults and I think $69 okay. for children. I'll have to double check. But it includes all your food, all your drinks, oh, yeah. all the activities they offer. Um, like water sports, snorkeling, all of that. And it's my favorite beach. It's Mambo Beach. I know, beach. over near Mambo Beach. So excited. With the today. rock wall protected snorkeling and stuff. So. Yeah, so for a short day, including all of that's that. That's true. That's not a bad deal, truthfully. Yeah, I think it's about a 15 minute cab ride over and back. So we'll just hop off, grab a cab, yeah. and well, first we're going to get some breakfast. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm going to clear my throat. Then we're going to get some breakfast. So let's go do that. Sweet. And get our carousel day started sunscreen today. <laughs> really? All right. <laughs> so we came to Ocean Plaza because it seems like the best place to just grab a quick little breakfast. Kind of looks like all my other Ocean Plaza breakfast. They had cherry vanilla yogurt this morning, which was different. Folks, great news. The ship has now been cleared. Woohoo! Right. There's somebody Norwegian in with us today. So just over here to the right of the shopping area. Oh, touch free hand sanitizer. You got a white tent that says taxi and private tours. Well, there is my reflection and a little map. So we're looking at $30 for the Sunscape Zone. checked in and ready to go. Oh yeah, we got some shopping. Anyway, we're gonna head out here to this water. Ooh, I forgot all about how much I love Coco Cafe. All right, don't get distracted, don't get distracted. So there's where all the stuff and things are. We'll learn as we go here. We could play giant chess, we could play hopscotch. No. There's the buffet, which we have already had breakfast, but uh, we'll get to eat lunch there. Little bar here between the restaurant and the pool. Yeah, they might not be open yet. Oh, look at this thing. Yes, pool complex. You look awesome. We'll be up here for you in a little while, but I think we're going ocean mode for first. For first? That's how words work. Oh, blue water grill. I guess that's another option for lunch. All right, enough bumbly sand walking footage. Let's hit this water. Look at that rock wall. I know, this is just like, it's so close to where we were the first time we ever came to Curacao. <laughs> you are doing your happy dance. I love Curacao. <laughs> yeah, our first visit to Curacao, we were over at Cabana Beach Club, which is just over on the other side of that little like boat marina, but they still had this cool rock wall, snorkely, oh my gosh, this thing goes on for D's. Oh, there's ships down there. Hey, ships. It does not appear that water shoes are needed much out here. Oh, I see some different colorations. Is it chilly? Very sandy looking. And you can see like right here, there's a nice little drop off. So pretty shallow. See the different shades of blue and then poof. Well, hopefully it's not that drastic. <laughs> Just poof off the face of the earth. <sighs> I know. I remember last time you hit this rock wall, you swam all the way to Aruba. I was like, what? what? So there's a little wavy place down there, I guess, where the water can come in. I don't think this is netted or anything. I think it's just, you know. Oh, great. <laughs> right. Cool. I, think it's, I think it's just, you know, kind of protected from waves. Okay. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Woo. Woo. Yeah, look, that's, just, that's a nice little drop off it's right there, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, it just gets deep. Do you guys see how deep it is? Yeah. So we are here and we are excited. 
I'm sure we could have walked on past, you know, like over to the Riff Fort area or past the Riff Fort and probably caught a taxi for cheaper. You know how it is. The taxi rates are always higher inside the cruise pier. But for us today, it was just about getting here, getting here conveniently and fast. So we were all right with the cruise ship taxi man. Time for me to go do some floating over my head and see if I can catch up with this mermaid D out there. She's going to see her friends at the rock wall. I think this was the first port where she actually saw a lot of tropical colored fish, like ever. And that's why this was so exciting and holds a special place in our tropical colored hearts. Another good thing to note as I put her out here is that the normal day pass hours, I guess, are listed as 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., I believe. But since we were in for such an awkward time today, and Dee is a master agent with AM Resorts, they let us go ahead and start our day pass as early as 7, because they knew that's what time the ship was arriving. So super nice of them to do that for us. But if you have a nice long day here in Curacao, like an 8 to 5 or something like that, or, you know, even later, that'd be awesome. <laughs> some kind of tour going out from the marina next door. It's kind of cool to have that so close to the property too. Anyway, let's do an outward property spin pan thing. A little overcast over one way, but beautiful skies over that way. I don't think we're expecting any inclement weather. Mercy, she has been all up and down that rock wall. She is down here now. She started here, went all the way down. Flip flop, flip flop, flip flop. I think she's swimming back to the ship. I'm not sure. I decided to just stay up here in the Shalalalos and execute a beautiful Curacao slash Mambo Beach. I guess this is still technically Mambo Beach. Speaking of course. I'll take a little nap while I'm at it. Ma'am, you swam for about two and a half days. I don't know. You have been missing. I filed a missing persons report on you with the Curacao police station. Ooh, I think I burned like 3,000 calories. <laughs> you went so far. So this is why this place is so magical. You it's just basically got... like swimming in an aquarium over there. So I'd be like, oh, I've gone really far. I should turn around. Oh, there's another fish. Oh, that's one I've never seen before. I saw a whole school of squid. Oh. So many different tropical fish. 
this is just like Bonnet. Actually, it's like Grand Turk on steroids. Okay. You like Grand Turk because there's the deep part. So once you get past it, though, right. magic happens. Don't do drugs, kids. <laughs> just a side note. Oh. <laughs> Your editing J is going to it's hate gonna be me because so I just mad. basically let it roll. Uh, Actually, that might be better. That's fine. But he'll he'll get used so to it. So many fish. Yeah. We're definitely gonna come back here and stay an entire week because I will be in this ocean every day, and you guys would never see any footage except for fish. Just fish Sorry. footage and food footage. That's kind of what it is when we go on land trips. Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> Uh, this is one of the spots that we had definitely been looking mm -hmm. at staying during the pause and cruising while we were looking at all-inclusive resorts and whatnot because it is all-inclusive yeah we'll probably sneak down here sometime you know how it is for sure all right so now she's going to give a quick glimpse up here into these shallows because there's some good looking rocks up here like if you don't feel like snorkeling all the way across so we'll see what kind of goodies she can come up with up here now Pretty sure Curacao just solidified itself in the top three list of these snorkeling hotspots, which I guess in no particular order would be Grand Turk, because it's pretty awesome and it's free right there by the ship. Bonaire, which is you walk off the ship and catch like a $20 water taxi over to Klein Bonaire. And now Curacao, specifically Mambo Beach area because there's the Seaquarium down at the far end, which is like a little aquarium we've never been to. And then you've got a whole row of beaches. You can just hop off and catch a cab at the Mambo Beach and have a perfectly fun day. Or now we've discovered this all-inclusive option, which would make a really, really, really fun day. So, well, update. Yes. If you don't want to swim all the way across the rocks and you're like a beginner snorkeler, this is really shallow here, but once you go around those rocks, it's still shallow. Still, just like an aquarium. That's where all the sergeant majors and damselfish live, though. Gotcha. So, pretty cool. So good deep water snorkeling, good shallow yeah. water snorkeling. All oh right. my gosh, I'm in love. I'm gonna go <laughs> and get a drink and then swim some more. Yeah, that Let's sounds go. like a plan. <laughs> I think that's the grand plan for the day: is have, much. have some drinks, swim mm -hmm. some swims. So we've already swam the swims. Then Grab some lunch, like? hit the pool. We got a lot to do in a short time, y'all. But. I don't know, that's probably about all of the property we're gonna show off. It's not a huge property, it doesn't look like, but. Because we don't have a room or anything. Right. But you can go on the website and check it out. I might get a go up to Coco Cafe. Yeah, oh, Get for me sure. a coffee. I'm definitely get some fun. <laughs> One to go. Because you know, when we were at Sunscape <laughs> Akumal, we love Coco Cafe. Yeah, oh, I don't love already, and it's just the ocean. <laughs> we knew we loved Curacao already. Yeah. All right, but specifically with this place, I'm thinking, so. Oh my gosh. My this snorkel is, may have fallen out of my mouth a few times from smiling. <laughs> this is where we insert the get with travel agent D <laughs> if you want to stay at Sunscape. Anyway, whatever. Y'all y'all know. Just psh. Yeah. All right, we're going to have some fun. I guess we'll jump out of water mode. I think we might just at least go get a coffee or something. Because I don't think the bars are open yet. We're still pretty early. It's very early. Iced mochaccino. Birds are making some creepy noises over here by the cafe. What in the world? We have sat here and had three mochaccinos. Well, we got one to share, and then we're like, nah, we each need our own. You know, like you're used They're to not. Cool that looks like a cool art piece. I don't know. Anyway, they're delicious. They're really good. I didn't even know they had a casino here. Okay. So we haven't really come across a property map. The only thing we found really is this sign so far that we kind of glazed over when we walked in. But Blue Water Grill, yeah, World Cafe and Blue Water Grill are our food spots for lunch, it looks like. Pretty sure this pool is calling our name now, so I think we'll putter around in here until maybe the Swim Up Bar opens. Check that out. Ooh, Dee's looking at Blue Water Grill. 11 to 5 Blue Water Grill. Okay, so we'll either do lunch here, I guess maybe here as opposed to the buffet. I, you know what? I don't know. The world is our oyster. And maybe they have oysters. Nice little powerful foot wash up here. I like it. <laughs> Pool mode, activate. Oh, nice. oh, bar manatees, their swim up concept, which is not open yet, but will be soon. 11 o'clock? Okay. 
Nice. Thank you. Well, and then I guess we'll continue this way. Okay. Little little maze. Ooh, yeah, you got like a little infinity edge looking out to the water. Oh, more than a little infinity edge. It goes all the way down. This is like an infinite infinity edge. An infinite infinity Well, no, because then it ends, so. <laughs> it is finite. Dang it, I'm still waiting to find an actual infinity pool. What is this cool little seating element? It looks like oh. it has... Ow, that was a dangerous... Okay, just because you can't touch. Not your favorite ledge anymore. Yeah, it looks like it has a thing that would be a fountain, possibly, at some point in, in its life. Oh, wow. Where they keep their deeds. Uh-huh, this is the, the... Well, no, actually, that's the ocean. Yeah. <laughs> this is like your modeling ledge. Oh, yes. <laughs> Cover girl. So bright. Wow, this is why we are okay, not models. Take two. Yes. <laughs> so fierce. We'll come around a little further. Oh, and there's like a whole shady oh, section. Oh, yeah, me too, because, you know, the sun. Yeah, I think this, oh gosh, this goes up a lot. Oh, this went up a lot, lot. Is this a pool table? <laughs> okay, we got a pool table out here in the middle. There's little bubbles coming out of the wall. And there's like loungers in a shady thing. I'd be like, I'm sorry, it's a No, we need this to be for everyone. Now, I think this is. But I believe this entire pool we're in right now is like the Sun Club type adult pool. I saw some signage at Manatees that said adults only. Yeah. This is awesome. Wow. All right, Owen Wilson, here's a ledge for you to sit on. <laughs> wow. Welcome to the shady vlog section. This is nice. Where we protect ourselves and our delicate complexions from the sun. <laughs> This is a big, cool, cool pool thingamajig. I'm enjoying it. I guess if this is the adults only pool, then they must have another pool around here somewhere that we just haven't gotten they to yet. They do, much like the one in Aquamall, they have two sections. Okay, so, so I think we're- And then they we're... have a sun club section too, which I don't know if we'll discover today. Uh, but like I said, we'll definitely be back. I know, we'll have to explore more of this property later. So yeah. we're just having a really crash course in it today. it's such a short day. Yo, um, you know we're gonna come back and stay here anyway. For sure. Out here off the back side of this little gazebo -y area, they've got an outdoor stage, there's a dive shop, trampoline thing, wow. you know, where they strap you in and bounce you. Oh yeah, this is the I see, Japanese restaurant here. I think there was the, I don't know, I don't know if that's Demario De next to it or not. Let's venture back out to the deeper pool water. The sun kind of went away, actually. Pool spin. Accompanied by the constant sound of water rushing over the infinite, <laughs> non-infinite edge. <laughs> Alright, go say hey to the fish. You have been gone for about three weeks now. I think you swam back to Miami. Look, I even called in the search and rescue helicopters on you because you were gone so long. That's all right, I found her. She, she's back now. You can, you can go. 
<laughs> Where this did you go? Might be my new favorite snorkeling spot. I know. I was wondering this between Klein and Bonaire, uh -huh. yeah, and Grand Turk still, honestly. But see, I called it. I, just, I told uh, him that earlier. I don't want to leave. I'm already like really sad. Oh, well, I know. I'm like so sad. Uh, but yeah. the clarity of the water is just perfect. You're not in here with anything majorly large. I mean, you could be, but there isn't anything too big, so it's not scary. And you can get right up next to those rocks and see everything. And I'm so happy. <laughs> it's the best day ever. I talked to so many fish. Oh, there's like a little baby fish talking to us. Oh, right now. what is, is that a fish? Uh, yeah, that is a very small oh, something really? or another. Um, <laughs> are we? You're really trying to talk to me. What are you doing? I can't even see you on the camera. It's so little. What is that little thing? Okay. <laughs> All right, one more ocean spin. I think we're gonna go do a time check. Oh, you want to go do the shallow? <laughs> She's like, I can't get out of the ocean. No. Uh, I don't feel like it's time. I haven't heard any uh, or seen too much commotion at the restaurant yet, so I don't feel like it's 11 o'clock. She's like, good. All right, go play in the shallow aloes. And I guess the helicopter was, I think it turned around. It went to go fly around the ship. Maybe they're getting some footage because I think we are the first ship back into Curacao with passengers since the shutdown. So maybe they're getting some, some footages. Our mental clock must be on point today because it was 10.59 when we got back to our chairs. So lunch should be opening now. So I think we'll just check out this blue water grill option. Well, shoo. Okay, the sign right there said 11 o'clock. They said, no, no, we're open at 11.30. I said, oh, look, your sign. They said, no. We change it all the time. I'm like, all right, cool. Cool. Anyway, so we'll kill some time. Adventure. I know. We're on a time crunch today. We're trying to eat all this delicious food. That's all right. We'll kill a little bit of time and we will come back at 11:30. Now, to be fair, when you look at their menu in the app, it says 11:30. So the app is correct. Ignore the signs. <laughs> Well, the cocktail of the day is the Bon Beanie because today is Wednesday, so I might give that a go. And Dee is gonna start off with the two friends. I like friends. Cranberry juice. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Oh, they are open and ready to roll. Now we get to enjoy a lunch with a view. Beautiful. And please do not <laughs> feed the birds, by the way. We're starting off with nachos. Those two look okay. good. All right, they're very bright and colorful. <laughs> I'm going to eat them. Oh, all right. I swam a lot. We'll get a review right here as, you know, live. Okay, we got the head nod and the thumbs up. Mm, that's really good. Oh, what in the world? You got a salad in a glass. It's a frozen mojito, which I've never had. I love mojitos, so that's fun. That's a cool concept. Literally, I just went with a Mai Tai. Keeping it simple. Look, I'm trying to block that poor. We, we tore into those nachos, y'all. Don't even look good. over there. Tastes like salad. It tastes like no, salad. I like, I like it. It's not sweet. <laughs> Deep. Now, look, this is cruel. You got fried fish. Okay, what? <laughs> okay, so I love fish, but I also love to eat fish. Wow. wow. I, I could be a pescatarian. No, that is rude, <laughs> and this is probably one of your friends. It's anyway, not. fish and slaw and fries, and I got the flank steak and slaw and fries. See, I didn't run around all morning looking at cows and then come eat the steak. So that's what the difference is. I'm not like, moo, moo, I love cows, hunk, hunk. Uh, we also got a quesadilla. I think it was called blue water quesadilla, but it's chicken and steak. Pretty good lunch, I must say. That hit the spot. Now we're gonna hit the pool spot. Is that a good segue? <laughs> hello, bar manatees. Well, hello, little bird. Oh, no, you're not a bird tender. So we got a day in paradise, or you know, the wind blows them over, <laughs> and a fire desire. Oh, look at all those colors and layers and stuff. <laughs> We're gonna fall. All right, let's drink them before the wind knocks them down. Oh, we got some lover's water, that's cute. Oh, and Dee <laughs> has returned with another round of drinks. I forgot what I got, the chill out. Mm -hmm. And then you got a, we'll call it a snacks on the beach. <laughs> snacks is on that, the beach. Is that how that, that works? works? Yeah. That's PG. Y'all, snacks on the beach is no fun. You know, sand gets up like everywhere in your sandwich bread and everything when you have snacks iguanas on the beach. Iguanas so. Y'all, you know, iguanas come try to eat all your goodies. Y'all, don't, don't enjoy snacks on the beach. PSA. Y'all, this is where our vlog turns into like a Mr. Sancho style vlog because we're in the pool. There's a pool bar right behind us. It's lovely. D has gone for the Long Beach iced tea. I did a mango tango, which was just dark rum, mango juice, orange juice, and more dark rum on top. This is like everything. everything. And cranberry juice. The right. cranberry juice is good for you. It's 
Like it's true. Health, so. It's a healthy drink. Ah, uh, Sunscape, it's time to say goodbye. This is like the saddest moment ever. <laughs> it really is. But good news, while we were in the pool, we met another couple and they are from the ship and we are going to split a taxi back to the ship. So hey, that worked out well. They were awesome. Well, they got the cab waiting for us when we arrived. We have made it back to the port. Ooh, I'm just, like happy. I know. So we've come right back in here to the shopping area. Man, lots of good stuff. I'm glad they were able to drop us right back here off at the port. I was worried we'd be over on the other side of the rift fort and have like a hike in front of us, but that was awesome. So Norwegian Pearl we learned is over there. They charge us seven dollars per person for the return trip. So Ugh. we have got a little. Is that a dog? Yeah. Is that a okay? Sort of a strange little doggy <laughs> to say goodbye <laughs> to Curacao. No, I don't want to say. I know. What is up, y'all? We are all wishy-washied. We got the <laughs> chlorine and the salt and the sand off of us. I'm clean. It's formal night, y'all. It is. Now we are not going to Pig and Anchor. What's no. it called? Flavor Town tonight. We're going to the, the dining, dining room. room. Yeah. Anyway, we're gonna run around and do a little bit of stuff, and mm -hmm. then we're gonna eat dinner, and yeah. then that's all I know. There's stuff. It's windy now. It is. Crazy. We're sailing away. Oh, don't! I'll cry. <laughs> all right, let's go do some stuff so we don't cry. Okay. Bye. <laughs> So we've come down to listen to Movies Explained Badly trivia. We have gotten some espresso teenies from back here at Ocean Plaza. We heard their amazing beverages in the coffee machine. Yes. And we like them. And now up next is sports trivia. So you know we're not even playing. We're 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 sitting here apart from Ocean Plaza because you know we don't qualify for sports trivia. This is how we're spending our time right now. Ooh, that's good. Is it good? Ah, coffee e. Well, they had good old cranberry bread tonight. They had been having those sort of oblong loaves that didn't really have much cranberry in them. That's awesome. We also got the garlic herb that, that cheese. Like oh God. Away. Let's let's get a focus on the garlic herb cheese. There we go again, as well as butter. Yes. Ooh, the dreamscape is very pretty and starry. We're heading up front now for Love and Marriage, hosted by Donkey. We haven't been to the Love and Marriage show in a while. It's about time. Man, it's the new crossover you never knew you needed. Marriage or no marriage. I, I don't know. I want to see the best makeout session. Come on, what you got? What you got? Oh, she's up, she's up, she's up. I mean, we're back in the cabin. Oh no, that was a good love and marriage. It was. He asked some different questions and they were very good contestants. <laughs> hmm, but we're back in the cabin. Mm -hmm. We had a long sunny day today. We did. We're going to sleep, y'all. Yeah. There's Mega Deck up on deck. We, we did, did that, that last, last week. week. So, you know. Different content. Now you get to be like, huh, I wonder what they're doing. They're yeah. sleeping. We're mixing it up by <laughs> going to bed. But yeah. 
guess that's it. So tomorrow we have La Romana. Mm -hmm. Never been there before. Mm -hmm. Kind of a like late port day. Pretty but short. But a short Yeah, late and day. short day. So. <laughs> huh. Anyway, come back tomorrow yeah. for some of that. But thanks for hanging out with us today. Thank you guys all. Go to Curacao. It's so, amazing. It'll make you cry. <laughs> it will. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye.